In this quick little video, I'm gonna show you of what I've learned about getting categorized on TikTok. I'm gonna do a screen sharing session in a moment about the difference between what you see on your desktop version of TikTok versus the app. And then I'm also going to talk about why you may want to get categorized and how to get categorized by kind of stacking the keywords and the things that you're talking about and showing on the screen. So let's get into the video. So on TikTok, if I go to my profile and look at my and look at my videos, you'll notice right here, find related content. There's nothing there, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, right? Looking at my TikTok account, I'm going to in some of my videos. You can see at the top, find related content. These ones are not being categorized. I'm going to keep going here. Here we go, work from home. So this one was categorized because I had hashtags relating to that and I was speaking out loud about working from home. So that is a good example of one here. Not categorized, not categorized. Not. This one did get categorized, so this is another example. Car gadget, this one's correct. And then eventually you will find somewhere that it's not correct. This is not the correct category for what I was talking about. So, you know, there are some errors in, in doing this sometimes. And the reason that you want to get categorized is that TikTok knows who to push your videos out to. So people that are interested in this category, people that watch videos that are for that category. And the, the way that you're going to get categorized, and this is not 100% foolproof, you're going to have to play around with this, and you're going to have to be very good about what you're talking about. So sticking with one subject and putting the text on the screen, like, you know, text on the screen that is having the same words as the category that you're trying to achieve, having the same words that you're speaking out loud, you're going to be putting it in your um, description here. They call this the caption also, but um, the description of your video, you're going to be put, putting hashtags in here that pertain. So, so basically you're going to be like repeating the same words over and over again, the same keywords over and over again in order to get categorized. And if you want to find out the best keywords to use, you're going to want to go in your app and use the search. I don't know that it works that great using the desktop version, but go on your phone and go into search and look for things that you want to look up. So like, say for example, fishing, look at all of the things that pertain to fishing. Fishing is way too broad. So, I mean, yes, you could be categorized as fishing, but you may want to niche down and go for something, you know, way more descriptive, like, you know, maybe fishing in a certain area of the country or fishing for a certain type of fish. So go to the search bar and start typing in the keywords that you're looking for. In this example, I'm going to type in fishing. And you're going to see a bunch of videos that are about fishing. And you'll also see other search for. So these are keywords that you could possibly put in your, you know, your videos about like catfishing, river, things like that. Again, others that others searched for and then use them in your hashtags and in the description and your text on screen. Look at those and then use those words. Like I said, text on screen, spoken words, add the captions so that it captures your spoken words, add it in the description of your video, add it in your hashtags, and you'll have a better chance of getting categorized on TikTok, and then once you get categorized, TikTok will push your video out to people that are looking for videos on that category. Your video still has to be good. Your video still has to have all the other things, right? The hook, um, it has to be paced correctly so that people don't, don't get bored and fall off. You have to be able to talk about things that people wanna hear about, learn about, watch or whatever, so that it gets pushed out to more people. But categorization is a big part of getting the views and the attention of your, you know, the followers, all of that stuff that you're looking for in your account to eventually convert those viewers into followers and those followers into paying customers. Hopefully that that's the goal, right? Well, there you go. 
I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions about this subject, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will use that question in a later video. So with that, I will wish you a good day and see you next time. Bye.